Good Lechodesh. Today is Rosh Chodesh Elul. Today is the first day that we do Shofar to remind us to wake us up. But the Rambam says in Hilchus Shuvah, Paragimel, that the, we blow the Shofar to wake us up from our sleep, our Ta'adumaschem, ta the fact that we drowse, we forget about things, we're not focused. And it's the challenge of this season is to understand how to wake up ourselves from our sleep. That's one point to realize about the month of Elul. The second thing is that the month of El, the Rosh Chodesh El, is usually sandwiched between Parshas Re'eh and Parshas Shoftim. And it's, there is what to consider and discuss to appreciate why in this time of the year, when we're looking to start the new year of Shoshana, are we starting the month before with Parshas Re'eh and Shoftim? I'd like to answer both questions with a greater understanding of the evils of entitlement, the mentality of entitlement. I would like to present that as we're looking at the new year, the first challenge to us is that are we entitled by definition to understand that the world should always give me what I want. Do I have deserve because I'm a Jew, because I'm an American? Do I, am I promised by anybody, be it God, be it the president of Satan, no matter what, I deserve the right to have a good quality life because of the fact I breathe. I believe that the portion Re'e starts us off and says to us, no. This is the portion where Moshe is introducing the Jewish people to their future. He wants them to understand and appreciate that Hashem is bringing them to the land of Israel in order to give them the opportunity to understand that in front of them is either bracha or klala. It's either going to be a source of tremendous blessing or it's going to be a curse. We're trying to speak out curse is not that you're going to suffer necessarily, but it could be. It's the absence of blessing, and when there's an absence of blessing of Hashem's personal involvement, sometimes it could be bad, sometimes it could be good. You know, hurricanes happen, tsunamis happen, I, things can go wrong. But if there's a tight time of blessing, then you see reward, then you have a right. But blessings and curses will be dependent upon all the mitzvahs of Parshish Re'eh, that's what the Parshish is about. Teaching us that if you want to have the special relationship with Hashem that brings with it blessing, then you have to understand that you have to do the mitzvahs, you have to show and prioritize and care about people around you. You have to be able to give charity where it's appropriate. You have to worry about the Kohanim. You have to understand that it is your responsibility to go up to the Beis Hamedish three times a year to, to see Hashem's presence and to be seen. And it's your responsibility to go up to Yerushalayim and spend one-tenth of your resources with Maisha Shani to be able to take advantage of the holiness that happens there. It's not that you have a right to stay in your house and be able to and ignore the rest of the world. No, a Jew has to understand that in order that he shall be blessed by the Creator, that he shall earn the blessing, that he shall have that style of a life. He has to make the commitment to that style of life, which is, re, which is reflected by the, all the mitzvahs. We have to wake up and be woken up to understand that we're not entitled to the great quality of life that we have. We have that's, it's, could be, it could not be. If we want to be entitled, we want to earn, we have to invest in our world perspective. And that we have to understand where the mitzvahs fit in, and therefore we will be blessed, God willing, that we will all have that which we ask on Rosh Hashanah, that we shall be written in the book of life, the book of health, the book of Parnassus, we say in Avino Malkano. This is the first message, and this is the introduction of Elul, the introduction of Elul, that Hashem says to us, I'm going to give you mitzvahs, but if you do my mitzvahs, 
then I'm going to give you bracha. I'm going to give you blessing. I'm going to give you a, a type of life where you'll feel blessed. That's ani ledodi vedodi li. That there's no entitlement by definition to anything. If you do what is expected of you, Hashem will respond by blessing each and every one of us. The second portion is Parsha Shoftim. That's this week's Parsha. And it's the second question of entitlement. Entitlement seems to breed that children feel that they can decide. You're not the boss of me. I know what's right. I know what's wrong. Shoftim Vishochim is that every Jew, every Jewish community has to be built on the idea, on the appreciation that there is a right and wrong. And if you do what's wrong, there is going to be a police force that gets involved and corrects it. You cannot have a commitment to a Jewish way of life without having both judges and police that are going to ensure that the, the rules, the laws, the mitzvahs are being followed and being followed through in an appropriate way. So these are the two messages which we have to start off this year to wake up and stop feeling entitled. Stop feeling that we don't have to think about whether we're doing the mitzvahs correctly. Stop feel, feeling that because, thank God, we've had so many years of tremendous bliss, we will receive, we'll get bliss again. We have to understand that it's really dependent upon us, and we have to make that commitment to wake up and to think and to feel and hear the chauffeur that wake up and be sure that we're doing that which gives us the proper earning. Thank you very much. Forget Chavez. We'll see you next week, hopefully, again.